Hello everybody, my name is Solo, welcome back to the channel, and today we are back here on Destiny. I told you guys I would come back to Destiny, and here I am. Um, just to let you guys know, I have finished Season of the Witch. I have played all of the missions, and have seen the final cutscene. And we're actually going to be talking about, well, news and a theory I have regarding the end of the season. Now, let's talk about... The season so far. So the season so far, we of course saw all the Eris stuff, and then finally the whole final confrontation where Eris eventually cut Zebra Wrath from the throne world that she made. Now, I want to get your guys' attention to this tweet right here. It's from Destiny the Game. Now, if you notice, it says Eris Morn is the strongest hide that there's ever been. Season of the Witch isn't over yet. Now, when you see this, you obviously probably f at first think, oh, well, yeah, of course it's not over yet. We still have Festival of the Lost. Which, by the way, the Festival of the Lost armor looks pretty cool. I'm kind of psyched that it looks like Titans get to be Blue Beetle. And, you know, most of the armor, honestly, this time around looks really good. I know there are some people that are complaining that the monster set didn't get you know, put into a vote again. And I'm going to be honest with you, last year, when they decided to put out the vote for the monster set, the monster set looked so bad for Titans and Warlocks. Like, all the other... Like, the only other class that you remotely looked good on was Hunters, and that was it. The other two for Titan and Warlock just looked really really like cheesy and not to say that the people who make the co like the actual ornaments are lazy they're not trust me especially with like uh his shaders like this it's just it i don't know it feels like there's a lot better things if you're gonna go for a monster theme for a titan and a warlock to be than a um Colossus with a horn, and uh, I don't even remember what the warlock was. But the thing about it is, is that in all of this, there is one thing for certain: season of the witch isn't over yet. We still have about forty-four days, so about a little over a month and a half left on season of the witch, and. There's still a lot of unanswered questions that we have, especially from this season, when it comes to just general things. Like, for example, if we were to go into our journey tab and go into the, hold up, where is it? Season of the Witch. And then go to Powerful Words. We're not done. We still have, looks like, two messages. I'm not sure if they're just going to play over the next few weeks. But we did get a little bit of lore that I believe Saint-14 was the one who ended up ending uh, Sabathun and basically <laughs> killing her again. So that was pretty funny. And honestly, it's kind of a revenge point for him, especially with everything that happened. And, you know, Sabathun basically using Osiris as, like, a pawn. So, yeah. Give me one moment. Alright, sorry about that. So, let's continue on what we were talking about. So, with all this going on and all the, like, speculation with not only that tweet, but also just everything in general. It makes me wonder, because the boss fight that we are introduced to, the Bane of the Ammonites was you know toted as being this big fight which it kind of was and wasn't at the same time because again we're the guardians and over time yes while he has defeated a civilization that basically had the same things as us he is also probably not grown to our level as he's still a pawn underneath of the wrath in the end of all things it begs the question of is there another boss fight or like final mission because i know everybody immediately thinks oh well if the season's not over it obviously means that 
an exotic quest is coming out. Well, exotic quests are nice. I feel like there's a lot of loose ends that still kind of need to be, I guess, tied into a bow. Especially when it comes to all this. Because, like, again, we have yet to see Zivu Wrath in the game. And mind you, we might not see that until after the final shape. But it would be nice to like see something along the lines of Zivu Wrath before we go through like all the witness stuff, especially when it so happens that you know she was the witness's general, and yeah, she's disconnected from her throne world. Still doesn't mean that she's you know lost her rank as general yet, and we not seen anything that changes that especially with the witness being gone so that begs the question maybe are we gonna see zivu wrath before the end of the season in like a form of like retaliation for what eris did to her especially like as a like a final like mission or something where we get a cut scene where it shows zivu's face or something I don't know. It'd be pretty cool if they did that. Just be like, hey guys, this is her. Because <clears throat> as we know, the final season, which starts starts in, not November, it starts in, or it might start mid-November, um, mid-late November, is the final season we get before Final Shape comes out. And then Final Shape comes out, and that is supposed to wrap up, like, the majority of the story of the Light and Darkness Saga. Of course, there are going to be some loose ends. We already know this because they already talked about the Hive. Not the Hive. God, getting my stuff mixed up. They already talked about the Vex potentially being a main villain for the next story. Especially seeming we have never seen the actual origin place of the Vex. Because originally we thought it was a Black Garden, and then we were wrong, and now we're just kind of like, where where the hell do y'all come from? And the answer is very unknown. Who knows, maybe the new story will touch up on that. But yeah, so that's how we're sitting on... The end or towards the end of season of the witch of course when uh the seasonal event festival the lost kicks off depending on how good the cosmetics are because that is one thing i will always like talk about and like tell you oh don't get it or do get it usually i'm kind of like indifferent on everything but like the last event i saw that had like that event card I'm gonna be honest, was kind of bad. <laughs> like, it was really bad. Like, I remember looking at it and going, I don't want this. Like, this sucks. So, as far as everything's considered, I'm hoping that they're going to be doing well when it comes to this event. And speaking of events, I guess we'll hop to Festival of the Lost because that's our next subject. Here, let me uh, let me pull up the post really quick. I do have an image for this one. I just it's this one, yeah. So this is the if you guys haven't seen this, this is a new memento that's going to be dropping from Festival of the Lost. Festival of the Lost is of course taking place from this Tuesday. So when you guys are seeing this, it will be two days from today on the 15th same day as minecraft live goes up which i will be watching uh i'm hoping it goes well but basically you guys haven't seen the news this event is getting kind of a refresh in the fact that we're getting an engram system for it with the eerie engrams and the eerie engrams can be used to Either you can open them, which is going to award you with random loot, 
and potentially the memento on screen or you can like decode them into specific engrams and basically fish for what you want inside of the event and i believe you can get exotic engram focusing as well with these engrams although it will cost quite a bit I don't think it'll cost legendary shards because if you guys don't know they're phasing legendary shards out. But it'll probably cost quite a bit of glimmer and of course quite a bit of candy which is going to be the event currency like it is every year. Uh, I believe we're getting haunted lost sectors but we're also getting legend haunted lost sectors as well. I don't, I don't remember if I saw the weapon. I think there is a weapon again this year. And then, of course, if you guys have been living under a rock, the armor set for this year is the, like, beetle set that lost last year, or not last year, the year before. So this year, I don't think we really, or I think we got to vote earlier in the year about which one we wanted, and I'm pretty sure that one won, but... That looks great, I'm gonna be honest. That looks pretty cool. I'm excited for it. I'll probably be playing Festival of the Lost when it goes live, of course. Uh, there's a bunch of other Halloween events, which I'll be covering as well, around the same time, which is going to be, like, um, the haunting for Call of Duty, and then a few other things, but I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see this memento. If you guys have never seen, I have one, two. Uh, I used to have the trials of memento, but I think I put it on something. But I have the, or no, I had the trials of memento. I had the nightfall memento, and I think my gambit memento is somewhere, and I don't remember where it is, but. When you craft a weapon, you can put those mementos on it. And so the new memento, which is going to be like the Halloween memento, probably going to be actually decently valuable just because if it's only going to be available during Festival of the Lost, that means it will only be available to pick up at a certain time of year. Which I think that's kind of neat because it gives you a reason, like especially for someone like me, who sometimes I'll, I'll get the, you know, I'll get the armor sets and try to finish the events, but sometimes I just don't. Gives me something to strive for, especially with, like, we just had the craftening, which they make a lot of jokes about now, which mess around with Destiny, and now we're getting a memento to, um, well, put on weapons. I'm hoping it's pretty cool. Most of the time when it comes to mementos, they're really cool. They have different moving parts and it's pretty cool. So that's where we're at with Season or er, Season of the Witches Festival of the Lost, which is kind of cool because we got the witch season during uh, Halloween time. And we're also getting a bunch of new stuff as well. And apparently from what they're saying, there's going to be a bunch of new cosmetics. So I'm hoping that's true. I hope there's quite a few. Because definitely last year was kind of last uh, lackluster. Kind of felt... Uh, how do you put it? It kind of felt samey. Kind of felt like I just relived the year before's Festival of the Lost. And usually I love Festival of the Lost. But it just wasn't doing it for me last year. And again, that may have just been because they were still in the process of reworking stuff. And I think they're still trying to figure out their like balance for these events. Because I think these events should definitely be a celebration of the community. And like a holiday for people. Not just, oh hey, microtransaction, microtransaction, microtransaction. It should just be a celebration. But of course, there's always going to be microtransactions. It is, again, Sony at the end of the day. So, what can you do?
as far as me when it comes to season of the witch i think my biggest priorities right now is getting done with the season pass i want to get organic adornment um i do want to try to get the ornament i think the ornaments for the season look pretty sick and i'm hoping that i can get it done worst comes to worst in the final few weeks i'll start just pumping out um different objectives to try to get it done <clears throat> and hopefully i'll get it done because i have yet to finish off quite a few different uh seasons in the last year so i think it's finally time i actually finish this season uh that well i think the last one i like fully finished was season of seraph i want to say either season of seraph or before that season of the haunted there is a thing I really, really want to pre-order, which is, and I think I actually have it done now, it is if you get all Major Arcana, you get the chance to pre-order the tarot or the card deck that is the like deck of whispers, and I really, really want to get that because I think it's super cool. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video guys did enjoy hit the like button comment down below what do you think next year's armor is going to be personally i think it will probably be a rework of the monster set just because it's the only one we haven't seen back yet um and it's the only one we've seen lose twice so yeah let me know in the comments down below and guys don't forget to hit the like button Subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. We got a lot of events coming up, a lot of things coming up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.